This is the main part of our project. Our project is also mainly linked to coding and softwares. This is an introduction of the project. Now myself, Samarth, will give you an overview of the project. So, this is a Raspberry Pi. This is an AMG 8833 thermal camera. This is a cobbler which is used to connect the Raspberry Pi with the thermal camera. We have also used a few jumper wires. This is a drone. We have also installed a GPS module in it. Now I will tell you it's working. We have connected all these components to form a thermal camera which can detect humans and other high temperature things in the surroundings if needed. So as I told you this is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus which acts as a microcontroller of a project. Here it is. Here an SD card is inserted which has the Raspbian software. This is the AMG8833 thermal camera. It works as the heart of our project. This is the part which detects the temperature. It can detect a wide range of temperatures. Now let's talk about this drone. We wish to implant a project on this drone so that we can detect humans from a high altitude. This will be very efficient and will be very helpful for many organizations and people. Now we have connected all the cables to our microcontroller that is the Raspberry Pi. We have also connected the mouse and the keyboard as you can see. And we have displayed the output on a TV screen from the Raspberry Pi. Now this is the Raspberry Pi terminal and the purple screen is the Pi game window. The Pi game window is directly linked to the thermal camera placed on the breadboard. So when I will bring my hand in front of the thermal camera like this, then it will display on the Pi game window and when I will remove it, it will instantly become normal like this. This is because the, it does not detect the room temperature. So this was the working of the thermal camera on body temperature. Now we will show the working of the thermal camera using a glue gun as a glue gun has a high temperature at its tip. So let's begin. So I will bring the glue gun in front of the camera and it will detect it and when I remove it, it will become normal. So as you can see, when we bring the glue gun near to it, the red shows the maximum temperature as the glue gun has a high temperature and the blue shows normal temperature. We can also set the temperature according to our code. So this is our code which runs our project. We can change the minimum temperature and maximum temperature from it. We can also change the height and width of the Pi game window and the pixels. Now let's, lack, uh, let's have a look at the whole code. Thank you to Samarth and Kana for telling us about the thermal camera. Now let's see some uses of a drone which has a thermal camera enabled on it. We can use it for surveillance, to see hiding burglars or track someone fleeing a crime scene. It can also be used for firefighting. We can quickly identify if a spot fire or a campfire is out or it is about to reignite and we can inform the authorities within safe time. We can use it to find out where people are in darkened or smoke filled rooms. It can also be used for road safety as during the night the visibility is quite low. So if we fly quads outside in the night we can see if there is any accidents on the road or is there any amount of fire which is going around outside the road. We can use it for military and defense applications. Thermal imaging is used in a wide range of military hardware using aerial drones. That was it. Thank you for watching.